Yeah, definitely. I think it's certainly a very highly anticipated game, which, you know, there may not be a crowd there, like people from home, but it's definitely going to be very exciting, I think. We've all waited very long for this. Um, I think kind of qualifying of Tokyo kind of came on my radar when I qualified for my first Worlds in 2017. Uh, that was a bit of a surprise. Um, and, you know, technically I was ahead where I thought I was. Um, so that was a bit of a bonus. And, like, going there when I was only 16, I guess, you know, I learned a lot while I, whilst I was there and mingled with the team and everything. So, yeah, I think Tokyo is now is certainly on the radar. Um, and then, yeah, after that, we've got just three years to go to Paris. So that should be good. I'm just going to focus on the process and um, just how I swim my races and how I'm covering and everything, all those things outside of the pool. Um, and hopefully just with that professional, you know, ideas in my head, I'll be able to produce world-class times. Hopefully that's what I'm going into it um, with my sights set on, I guess, just to get the process right and get some good swims under my belt and hopefully get some good times out there. I'm not sure what my, fa my family are doing. I guess they'll all be huddled together, I guess, watching on a screen. Um, so no, it's really nice to have just, they're obviously only a phone call away, so even though they're not coming, it is quite sad, but um, I know I have their support even when they're not here, so yeah. Yeah, the BOA are obviously working with the IOC on that. I think we've just got to keep a level head and, you know, as I said in a few interviews earlier, um, we've just got to be able to adapt when we get out there. We don't know what we're going into, so just got to keep level-headed.